Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be making strawberry crumb bars. In this recipe, I have one and a half cups of flour. And to that I'm going to be adding three quarters of a cup of sugar, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, one large egg, and a half cup of butter that is cubed. And so we'll go ahead and get all of these ingredients ingredients added to the dry mix. And in this container I have my three quarters of a cup of sugar. And then I'm going to be adding to this a half teaspoon of baking powder and the eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just going to use this mixer to mix those dry ingredients in together before I add the egg and the butter. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my cubed butter in and also I'll be adding in my egg. Okay, so I've already added my egg into the mixture and I'm going to be adding in my cubed butter. And so you can use a fork for this, or you can use a pastry cutter to cut this in to the flour. And I'm just going to go ahead and get this kind of mixed a little bit. And then just take your fork or your pastry cutter and just cut this in until it's a crumbly mixture. Okay, so after you have cut your mixture with the pastry cutter. This is roughly what it's going to look like. It's just going to be a bowl of crumbs and that's perfect because that's what you want it to look like. And then we're going to go ahead and get these, get three quarters of this pressed into a glass baking dish. And this is going to be the base of your crumb bar. Okay and so now I have buttered a glass baking dish. And then I'm going to press into the glass baking dish three quarters of this mixture of the crumb mixture. I'm going to just press it into the bottom of the baking dish because this is going to be the basis for our crumb bars. And we're going to reserve a quarter of this to go on top after we've added our fruit. bring it up the sides. And that's how your crust will look in the bottom of the pan when you've pressed it all around. I am also going to be adding to this recipe a half of a container of sour, um, a half a container of cream cheese. So that's going to be four ounces of cream cheese I'm adding to this. And I'm also adding about a quarter of a cup of sour cream to that cream cheese mixture. And 
to that, I'll be adding a, about an eighth of a cup of sugar. And you can start with that, and if you find that you need a little bit more sweetness, you can always add a little bit more sugar to that. I'm also going to be adding a teaspoon of vanilla extract to this mixture. And then I'm just going to use my hand mixer to mix this up. Okay, and so to this crumb bar mixture, I'm going to be topping this with my cream cheese mixture, which is the variation on the original recipe. It doesn't call for this in the original recipe, but it's just, uh, it just struck me that I might be good, so I thought I'd try it. I certainly follow. Okay, and now that that all topped off with the cream cheese mixture. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my strawberry pie filling. You certainly can use frozen strawberries if they're out of season. You don't have to use this pie filling mixture. Okay, and so that's how it should look. Crumb bars have been assembled. Now it's time to go ahead and top it off with the remaining crumb mixture. So I'll go ahead and do that. And just sprinkle it all over the top. That's what it looks like. And I'm going to pop it into a 350 degree oven for 40 to 45 minutes. Okay guys, here we have it. The strawberry crumb bars are now complete and they're just ready to be served up and enjoyed.